Thank you very much, Emac. Well, you know, it's considered the most expensive and famous baseball card of all time. First sold by the American Tobacco Company in 1909, the Honus Wagner Pittsburgh Pirates baseball card goes on auction this spring and is expected to go for more than $1 million. Joining us now, the man overseeing the auction, Brian Dwyer, Robert Edwards Auction Consignment Director. Welcome to the show. Uh, you know, here's the thing I heard. I, didn't the Honus Wagner crack a million a long time ago? Shouldn't we be talking $2 million now? $2 million is definitely within reach. It's at $1.14 million right now with 10 days to go. What's the, uh, I mean, obviously it's a supply and demand part of it, but is there some other part that adds value to something like a, a baseball card? Maybe the player themselves, the lore of the players, uh, other, other intangibles? Yeah, this card has a lot going for it. Honus Wagner, first Hall of Fame class, um, Hall of Famer, Pittsburgh Pirates, one of the greatest of all time, and the lore of the card that he didn't want his image associated with tobacco for the last hundred years has contributed to its great fame wow. and success. Uh, you know, I had the uh, uh, Barry Bonds rookie card, um, but I would, I would imagine that the whole scandal area didn't help this industry, or did it? Um, we separated into vintage and modern, so the modern era has definitely been tainted by some of the scandals associated with the players, but the vintage market is strong. It's drawing in a lot of new blood. Um, those guys aren't going to do anything tomorrow to hurt their image. <laughs> <laughs> you mean an old scandal may come out like Fatty Arbuckle? And, uh, you know, just, yeah. But uh, let's talk about some of the other things, because you brought some great-looking things, and i got to start with this, because this is from an iconic New York Yankee, isn't it, this jersey? Yeah, that's Thurman Munson's 1979 wow. New York Yankees home uniform. It's one of the last uniforms that he ever wore, and it comes directly from his family. So it's got impeccable provenance in addition to the tragic story of being one of the last uniforms he ever wore. Um, it looks clean to me. I, I thought I read somewhere where, is it better if they're worn, if they have a little dirt on them? Do, you know, you never want to get these things and put them in a dry cleaner, that's for sure. Yeah, you, you leave it as is, but some collectors do prefer a little bit more wear. This one has some minor areas of wear, but it is pretty clean, like you said. You got a, um, a, a, a potential area where that might go for? We think this will go somewhere in the neighborhood of fifty to seventy five thousand. Currently it's at about thirty three thousand. The green jacket, that's not the one that Jordan Spieth got this weekend. No, but it's identical. It belonged to a member of Augusta National. Very rare. They just don't come onto the market. That's somewhere in the neighborhood of fifteen to twenty thousand probably. So every member of uh, of the uh, of the golf cl club gets a jacket. Correct. I never knew that. That's interesting. But they get one jacket, and, and it, now they have the ability if they want to auction it off. A, a living member, I could join tomorrow, and then next week auction off my jacket. Yeah, there is some uh, dispute as to whether or not members only get one jacket. There are numerous stories of members losing or damaging their jacket and having them replaced. So there are some multiples that have made it onto the collectibles field. And, and we've got to talk about that Grammy. That is a cool looking Grammy award right there. Yeah. This is um, a Grammy Award for the song Tequila. Most people will be familiar with it from movies or commercials. It's from 1959, celebrating the best R&B performance of 1958, and it's the first year the Grammys were ever issued. Uh, price? Price range? Currently at 36000 probably going upwards of fifty. How's the collectible area holding up? You know, a lot of people uh, uh, have issued the, the stock market, the real estate crash, and people like tangible things, something that they can hold. And it feels like uh, this is an area, I know the art market has gone, has gone through the roof. The collectible area, how's that doing? Yeah, we've seen a lot of people coming into the tangible asset area um, that collectibles offer. They like things that are conversation pieces. They li like things that are great stores of value. The Honus Wagner card, for example, nobody has ever lost money on. It continues to appreciate to this day. So we see a lot of people leaving the stock market, going into collectibles, something that they can have and talk with their friends about and not yeah. lose money on. I, I guess if you have a, <laughs> you know, a choice, right, in your living room, it'd be like a stack of gold coins or a Honus Wagner card. That might be a, a little bit better of a conversation piece. Most people are going to recognize it immediately. <laughs> All right. Hey, Brian. Brian, thanks a lot. That's Brian Dwyer, Robert Edwards Auction, consignment director. A lot of great stuff. Get down there and bid on it if you want. Next uh, hour.